In three years, we will have first uh, innovative uh, Polish um, drug registered. We have more and more uh, medical biotech companies on the stock exchange market. We have more and more uh, partnerings with international uh, companies. A majority of BioInmed member companies, they are working on the first-in-class or best-in-class uh, technologies, drugs, therapies. Good morning, good afternoon. Uh, welcome to Business Focus program. Uh, today we are going to talk about biotechnology with my guest, uh, Marta Winiarska, president of the management board of BioInmed. Marta will share insights about the current landscape, highlighting the potential of the Polish biotechnology and how Poland stands in terms of the global possibilities. So welcome. <laughs> Thank you for invitation. Let's first have a maybe brief uh, overview of, of the sector itself, how Poland stands compared to uh, global leaders uh, on the global map. Uh, is it already, you know, uh, well known as an industry uh, where, where we are as Poland? I think that uh, year by year we are more and more known um, on the uh, global international map as a partner in context of medical uh, biotechnology. Uh, first of all, I would like to say that uh, this uh, sector, this industry in Poland is quite uh, quite young. First, a uh, company which is focused on uh, R&D projects in context of drug um, uh, discovery and drug development was established about 20 years ago. Uh, and the entire process of of, um, of developing uh, innovative uh, drug, it's about 12, 15 years. Uh, so uh, we uh, we didn't finish yet um, the entire uh, process, and we don't have uh, innovative Polish drug uh, on the market. But we are really uh, mature uh, on this path, and I think that uh, maybe in three years, and first Polish company uh, promised that uh, when in context of um, uh, scientific issues uh, it will be everything okay. Uh, in three years, we will have first uh, innovative uh, Polish um, drug registered. We have more and more uh, medical biotech companies uh, on the stock exchange market. We have more and more uh, partnerings with international uh, companies which are interested in R&D projects conducted by uh, Polish companies. I think that really important for, um, uh, for the industry was uh, 2022, uh, when some uh, uh, really important big transactions um, between Polish biotech and international partners were, uh, were managed. Uh, and since then, I think we uh, can observe acceleration of, um, of the development uh, of the sector. And uh, what is worth to say, uh, it's uh, the fact that uh, we have few companies which are absolutely ready to start their clinical trials. Some of them already started first phase of clinical trials. We have also some that are in the second phase of clinical trials. And uh, one of them, which was already mentioned, uh, which was established 20 years ago, they have first really good results of the second phase uh, of clinical trials uh, in schizophrenia. Uh, What's so, the name of the company? Uh, it's Telon Pharma. Okay. I think that uh, every month uh, we have uh, good news from, uh, from the sector about new uh, contracts, new partnerings, uh, new uh, data from um, preclinical or clinical uh, phase. Uh, so I'm pretty sure that we are really close to be a really valuable partner for uh, for inter uh, international uh, companies. BioInmed is a part of, uh, is contributing to this uh, building the positive image and, uh, and uh, of, of a Polish sector abroad, right? Because I think that uh, I had really a lot of discussions here in this studio that, you know, sometimes we are really great. <laughs> Uh, I think I had the discussion about fintech as well, but uh, they saw that actually we are declining in the global ratings, not because actually there is much more happening, but it's not recognized, right? So, so it's really important to remember that uh, communication is really important, you Absolutely. know, especially communication. in this competitive world, right? Yeah, yeah, communication and not only from the part of business, but also from our uh, public authorities, which mm -hmm. uh, like, you know, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, uh, Polish Agency of Trade and Investment, I think they are, they are really important partners uh, supporting us uh, in the promotion of Polish uh, biotech. 
sector and all industries which can, which can show Poland not only as a place of you know traditional industries but also of these uh, high tech uh, deep tech um, mm-hmm. uh, industries. And you know what stands behind this uh, uh, growth? I mean, in, in terms of the drivers, you know what what attracts maybe talents to this sector, what attracts uh, investors to this sector, what 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 are the advantages of of Poland if you look at the assets we have. <laughs> You know, majority of bioinmet member companies, they are working on the first in class or best in class uh, technologies, drugs, therapies. Uh, so uh, the unique know-how, the unique technologies which they are working on, they are their assets which they can uh, attract um, uh, international Uh, partners, but uh, on the other hand, uh, we also have really, uh, really good uh, staff. We have long history of life science um, uh, on our universities, uh, so uh, we have really uh, strong uh, scientific teams on our universities, institutes. So this is also what I think that uh, that is worth to mention. Uh, On the other hand, we have European funds, uh, which uh, are important in context of, um, uh, of financing R&D uh, projects in this industry. And still, because we are not recognized as a main uh, partner for, uh, for gro- global uh, players, uh, we have lower prices than uh, you know, companies from France, from uh, Germany, from Great Britain or, uh, mm-hmm. or from USA. So uh, I think that uh, uh, we, can, uh, we can attract with uh, all, this, um, mm-hmm. uh, all these assets. And today, uh, which countries are leading uh, in this field? In uh, Europe, uh, not in European Union, but in Europe, uh, mm-hmm. this is Great Britain. I think mm-hmm. this is the most major uh, market with the longest story of uh, medical uh, Uh, biotech. We have AstraZeneca there, for example, uh, but also many, many others and also universities which are really strong. Uh, I think it's uh, because of public system of supporting this, uh, uh, this type of, um, uh, of industry. Uh, they have some programs dedicated to Uh, to um, uh, to the industry, to R and D projects, but also uh, they are really focused on um, you know giving KPIs for universities, uh, not only about educating uh, students and um, scientific articles, but also about commercialization, which is really important because, for example, in Poland, um, you know we don't have uh, so big focus on on uh, on these issues, but also as I said, France, um, uh, Germany in Europe and of course United States uh, which are absolutely uh, today uh, the the leader um, of of the biotech uh, industry mm-hmm. not a surprise <laughs> um, uh, okay and what do you think i mean okay because we are on the right path uh, uh, soon we may uh, welcome the the polish drugs yes or polish therapies Uh, do you think that we have a potential to become a, a hub for for Europe uh, in terms of I mean you know, you know in, when we look at the production of the uh, drugs in Poland the base is quite strong and the fundamentals are grow is it something that will help us maybe to to grow also in the biotech uh, uh, sector or That's a completely different way of organizing also later the supply chain, you know, <laughs> being... Yeah, I think that uh, this is absolutely uh, different um, business models. Uh, we are, of course, all existing uh, in the same economy and also in the future we'll exist in the same health system because mm-hmm. uh, the uh, innovative drugs uh, developing uh, developed by uh, Polish companies, uh, they will uh, be a uh, part of health system in the in the future because there are innovations which will help patients all over the world and now this is uh, the right time uh, to show to our uh, international pa- partners that we are not only manufacturers but also we have you know this unique know-how uh, unique technologies uh, and uh, we are first mm-hmm. first in something uh, which Poland is uh, managing in the context of medical biotechnology And I understand this is happening. Yes, you mentioned that several companies uh, are uh, on the Warsaw Stock Exchange. Uh, and uh, how would you define the, the, the number of the interest of international investors? I mean, of course, I understand it's also a little bit your role or individual companies or it's a common effort. How to build this you know, trust and encouragement to, to international investors? 
Our companies, of course, uh, they uh, make huge uh, work uh, on that. And uh, so I it's think also about being on the international conferences when they present yeah. their ideas. Yes, yes uh, mm -hmm. on the on the international, but not only trade fairs, but also scientific conferences mm -hmm. when you know they are showing their uh, their projects, the data coming from the preclinical uh, phase or from clinical um, phase. They are talking with uh, doctors uh, from other uh, countries, scientists from other uh, countries they write also uh, scientific uh, articles uh, in really important international uh, magazines uh, so uh, all this type of activities are really uh, needed uh, but you know this part made by companies uh, this is uh, with very in-depth knowledge sometimes maybe too complicated uh, for uh, for investors uh, who you know who invest in and in their portfolio have different uh, industries and uh, medical biotechnology it's one uh, which they consider for example so I think the role of um, union as uh, as bioinmed and also the role of Polish decision makers uh, is uh, to uh, make this general promotion to show that Poland is a partner uh, not only in the context of traditional industries but also in um, deep tech uh, medical biotechnology uh, and uh, this is what we try to ask them to make you for example, uh, Minister of Development or Mr. President or uh, or other key um, uh, people in our country uh, could go to uh, you know foreign meetings and uh, and uh, go with uh, good news that Poland has this kind of industry uh, that we have something to attract uh, foreign investors uh, that we have something to uh, to propose and we should build not only as a business, but as a country, mm -hmm. our visibility internationally as a really modern, innovative country with our own technologies, also in medical biotechnology. And in principles, actually, that's what we declare, that we would like, you know, the general perception to change from the country that was actually a manufacturer of Europe to the country which is an innovator, yes, but then, you know, such a success stories that we uh, see in your sector uh, should actually be highlighted. Yeah. So let's maybe take a look at them. I'm sure that there are several success stories which are worth to mention. You already said about few companies, but maybe let's uh, uh, share a success story of the companies from, from your uh, union the one that it's it's good to follow now <laughs> yes it's good to follow and good to be uh, aware because um, as an industry uh, we are really often hearing uh, okay so many public money from european union from from polish budget came to your uh, to your industry uh, and what we have now, there is no Polish innovative drug on the uh, market, so why we should give more? Uh, and, uh, okay, I understand the really simple expectation for the industry is, okay, we gave you money, uh, you bring us a new drug, but uh, uh, as we said, this uh, industry is really uh, complicated. Uh, first of all, the business uh, model, which is, uh, you know, used all over the uh, the world shows that uh, at the uh, first phase or second phase of clinical trials or even earlier, we need international uh, partner who will support with uh, know-how, uh, with uh, um, expertise, uh, also with uh, registration of the drug. But it's oh. mainly pharmaceutical companies. Uh, yes, mm -hmm. yes, big pharma, medium mm -hmm. pharma um, uh, companies. So we need to um, to have them also for in context of uh, investing in third phase of clinical trials, which is really, really um, uh, expensive. Uh, and any Polish companies and even Polish government, I think it's... Um, uh, not prepared to have so big amount, amount of money to conduct a uh, uh, third phase of clinical trials. Then uh, distribution, yeah, as we said, um, uh, this innovation are for global mar markets, for mm -hmm. uh, international um, uh, distribution uh, and any Polish company, um, even this uh, big um, uh, generic companies, 
any one of them has uh, so big um, uh, distribution um, networks uh, to uh, to make these drugs um, uh, be uh, available for pa patients all it's over not like the only world. This physical distribution, but yeah. registration, yes. legal context yes. in every yes. single country, absolutely. and going through this process. So yeah. we have to have structures all around. Uh, absolutely. The world. Mm -hmm. uh, so we need to understand that the success of Polish company. It's also partnering with international um, a bigger company, which will uh, conduct together with this company their uh, their projects um, in effect of synergy. Yeah, mm -hmm. synergy of competences, synergy of capital, uh, and many uh, others. So when we change our mindset and stop to uh, expect that Polish company on their own will bring you know uh, the drug from uh, wet laboratory. Uh, to the to the market and we start to understand that uh, success is beginning of the first or second phase of uh, clinical trials that uh, success is partnering with an uh, international entity which will bring to the Polish uh, economy specific amount of money uh, from tax uh, and uh, we have many um, uh, many companies that uh, already gave to the Polish budget much more money that they got from uh, from uh, public grants from European Union from uh, from Polish uh, budget. Uh, each of these partnerings uh, bring to our companies upfront payments. Uh, sometimes. Uh, it's amount of you know uh, one uh, one hundred million um, zlotys, and uh, with this amount we bring taxes to uh, to Polish economy. So this is absolutely the success of Poland and the success of uh, uh, of company. Uh, so uh, I think that changing mindset and observing uh, what is happening uh, in the sector will bring us to the different conclusions uh, and we'll start to understand that there are many uh, successes. Uh, and, uh, you know, Polish companies have um, uh, like Rivu Therapeutics, they have uh, really great partnerings with uh, BioNTech, uh, which is the company uh, that's uh, brought to the market together with Pfizer uh, first uh, vaccine for uh, COVID-19. Uh, we have uh, Capital Therapeutics, uh, with, uh, which has um, they're partnering with uh, Japanese Ono Pharmaceuticals. Um, uh, Poltrek, uh, which built um, uh, the plant to be ready to manufacture uh, their uh, therapy. Many, many examples uh, of the successes of Polish companies. And I think that uh, we are really ready uh, to register first Polish drugs and Polpharma Biologics uh, registers already their biosimilar together with four foreign um, company as a, a partner in American uh, FDA, which I think is first step to show to the world that we are ready also not to register only biosimilars, but also the innovative Polish drugs. And it transfers into the figures, yeah, because I, I took a look on some figures and actually I read that the value of the Polish red biotechnology market, yes, which is related to human health protection, amounts to 14.7 billion zlotys but it is expected to exceed 21.5 million uh, billion uh, Polish zlotys by 2027. So the growth is quite dynamic. And yes. it's also a global trend, right? Yes, absolutely. Uh, you know, there, there are uh, so many unmet medical needs, um, the European pharmaceutical strategy, and we can see this in Germany in context of BioNTech and um, COVID-19 uh, vaccine today. Uh, BioNTech uh, is 0.5% uh, of um, Germany, uh, German GDP. Mm -hmm. uh, and for example, in Der Denmark, uh, Novo Nordisk, which uh, brought to the market uh, one drug, uh, now it's bigger than the entire Danish uh, economy. So this is absolutely what we wish, I hope, for a, a Polish medical sector and also Polish economy. Exactly. Absolutely win-win for everyone. <laughs> we yeah. would like to believe that people will 
people kept keep healthy but on the other hand we know that actually you know uh, even you know uh, the society we live in the the climate changes you know all of it you know won't disappear and i think that you know after covid healthcare as a general sector became quite uh, interesting to be to have in the portfolio of investment so let's hope that you know the spotlight will go for poland now and you know we'll have another success stories to share and to prove that we are not just manufacturer but we are also an innovator thank you thank you very much Thank you.